What is going on? Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. Yes, of course, I'm excited to be here because it's episode 22 of No Cash Clash. We don't care about the packages. We don't care about the special offers. We don't need gems because we are grinding to the top, straight to the top with this base without any cash. It's going to happen, you guys. So today, let's just get right into the attacking and talk a little bit more about Barch Plus. Okay, this is the army that I'm going to use as my go-to army for most of Town Hall 7. All right, at least until we unlock dragons and hog riders, we will experiment, but this is it. Okay, so we focus on Dark Elixir, so we see the drills, but we also see these two mortars right next to each other, and when I remember, I start the raid with a couple of lightning spells. There you go, two mortars down. Then you ring only the portion of the base where you're focusing on the Dark Elixir with the funneling barbs and funneling archers. Yes, they are spam funnel, but they do work. So we drop them in, and once they've kind of gotten those outside buildings down, then it is time for the Wall Breakers, Rage Spell, Barb King, and CC to run on in, and in this case, try to get through three layers of walls. Now, this is kind of hit and miss right here. Obviously, this went pretty well. You can see we got all the way to the very core of this base, despite the fact that it's a pretty strong base, higher level walls than I can possibly have. That's right, we're attacking up Town Hall 8, and uh, okay. Well, it went pretty well, okay? Overall, look at the amount of loot that was available. Look at the amount of loot that I ignored because I'm after the dark. Now, that mortar up there above the town hall did kind of derail any hope to grab the rest of this dark elixir. But the archers did... Oh, the archers... Uh, all right. The archers got one-shotted by the mortars. But we did get most of it. And yes, we left a ton of loot at the top. But remember... We have our priorities. We will get Elixir and Gold, but the Dark Elixir, we want that Barb King. Okay, I want to get the Barb King at least to level 5 as soon as possible so that we can unlock the Iron Fist, right? We want that ability, the additional Barbarians, everything's going to help out. So, 1156, and that was, yes, the new record. And then, I mean, holy cow. Okay, now, League or Liao Rusher, whatever this guy's name is, these bases, man, let me tell you, finding Town Hall 8s with these massive, massive amounts of loot available, it's it's exciting. It has been a lot of fun, and of course, it's a challenge because there's no chance I'm going to three-star this thing. But again, basic Barch Plus strategy, the lightning spells, the barbs, the archers kind of do the rough funneling right here. The Barb King's going to get taken down on the left-hand side, and then, thank you again to League Rusher, for placing all of your Dark Elixir on one side of the base. Definitely something that we will not be doing ourselves with future base designs. This is the single biggest mistake that I see over and over and over again. You want to give me all your Dark? Well, guess what? You just did, okay? I don't care if I get trophies. I honestly don't care about the rest of your loot. I'm coming for your Dark. I need more, 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 because we got to get to level 5, Barb King, and then... Again, the archers getting crushed by the mortars. This is not how it's supposed to happen, okay? The, on paper, this attack works. And on paper, the Barb King tanks for those mortars at the end. And the archers rush in, and they take out the rest of the Dark Elixir storage, or like in the first raid, or the rest of the Town Hall, like in the second raid right here. Yeah, either way, honestly, to sacrifice 19 trophies for a brand new Dark Elixir record... For my little baby Town Hall 7, it feels pretty good. So we did let the archers down there on the far right-hand side plunk away for a while. Just because, come on, it's a thousand. It's a thousand. It's a thousand. I can be patient sometimes. And we're going to sit, get a little bit of loot. But obviously, we came for the dark. We left with the dark. And we're happy. So that is now my new record. 1,540 and the 700,000 in resources. That didn't hurt much either. Okay, speaking of Barbarian King's Iron Fist, did you know, a lot of players don't know this, Barbarian levels coincide with the Barbarian King's Summon Barbarians, just like Archer levels coincide with your Archer Queen's Summoned Archers. Level up your Barbs and Archers, even if you're never going to use that attack, because 
You want to have that ability strengthen the entire attack, and that is how you do it. So we've got barbs leveled up, and now we are going to snap right back in here and level up archers. Okay, so archers are going to go next. As you can see, we've got a lot of troop upgrading to go, but that's okay. We unlocked dragons. We have that. We're going to... You know what? I'm not even going to try attacking with level 1 dragons, okay? I'm not even going to touch them because I know they feel bad. They're like level 1 balloons, okay? They look mean. Eh, not so much. So just, yeah, just just let's let that pass. We'll get them upgraded. We'll get there eventually. Let's kind of run through the upgrades here and see where we're headed. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So Barbarian King, go into level 3. We've got plenty of Dark Elixir. In fact, we have too much. We've got some extra right there. So there's a builder on the Barb King. We've got Archers upgrading as well. Uh, let's see here. What else are we going to do? Oh, yeah, so we want to, remember, get as poor as we can before we log out. So a big part of this process is well okay also barracks a great thing to upgrade while you're offline upgrade your barracks because otherwise it's going to slow way down your troop training all right so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna are we gonna do that or not no we're not okay what happened galadon what he's gonna go do walls i don't know what this guy's thinking here he goes so we're gonna upgrade some walls first get down on that gold because obviously what I'm saying is you don't want to upgrade your barracks if you're going to be raiding a little bit more, right? Okay, so sneaky little walls in here. Going to turn them from hot pink to purple. And before you know it, actually long before we go to Town Hall 8, we will be having the walls completely maxed out. Now, other things... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we need a little bit more gold so we can do two more walls. Here they are. Two more walls. And now, check it out. Okay, that feels good. Come for my gold, bro. That's right. Call me bro, whatever you want. You ain't taking it, okay? It's not going to happen. So then we're going to go ahead and uh, check out the barracks. Where is it? Okay, we'll do this one here. So we'll upgrade a barracks to level 9. That's right. Going to upgrade the dragons eventually. Then we've got this barracks. Wait, okay. This barracks. Here it is. Okay, so two barracks going to level 9. That, of course, is going to shorten the training time for dragons. But remember, we're not using them until we get to level 2. Check it out. That's right. Builder Potion, because we have all four builders tied up, okay? So, also, we have to remember that that turns 10 hours into one, essentially. So, now, we've got two builders coming free in just a couple of hours. So, we will be back online to make sure that we put those two builders back to use. And this is what I'm telling you guys. I am doing this. I am playing this account all the time. I know that before, in many of my other accounts in the series you saw on the channel, I would only be playing the account while I was live streaming, okay? This account has got me so hooked that I am playing it throughout the day. And like I mentioned in the last video, it is costing me a little bit of time because I'm spending more time playing it. It's distracting me from making videos, but there it is. That was last episode's goal. That was the 450 gems for getting, uh, what was it? 1,250 trophies, which we of course dropped from there. Okay, a little bit of quick clan etiquette, remember, Always thank the donators when they send you troops, okay? It's just a nice thing to do. All right, so we got troops. We've got uh, all the builders tied up. And we picked up the big 400 and, what was it, 70 gems. But it's 2,000. So we're still over 1,200 gems short. So, yeah, we've got a few gems to go. We could, of course, sell some of the potions down here. What, like 10 gems each to sell the potions? We'll see. Uh, maybe some of them we actually will send off and sell others of course we are going to use i wish i had more training potions and we're ignoring the top half of that whole gold pass thing that is not even i'm telling you it's a non-issue i don't care i'm having too much fun and honestly you guys i've gotten to that point in this account that i feel invested i feel like hey wait a minute i have gone this far without ever needing to spend a single gem i could do this i'm i'm over halfway right think about it town hall seven Town Hall 13. I am over halfway done, okay? It, numerically speaking, okay? Come on, be technical about this. Numerically speaking, I am over halfway done on my way to a fully maxed out free-to-play account, okay? So, don't argue with me. Don't... I, I heard, Get out of my comments. Get out of my comments. It's the same thing. 1 to 7, 8 to 13. It's essentially the same. Okay, so we're going to keep playing here. We're going to keep grinding. Don't worry about it. We're after the Dark Elixir. Some raids go a little bit better than others. These gosh darn level whatever uh, Town Hall 8 walls. These things are tough, man. Uh, this, these level 8 walls 
are not fun to get through. And you'll notice right here, though, check out the Clutch Barbarian King with Radar. Does this guy know what I want or what? I could not have asked for anything better. He absolutely beelines it for the Dark Elixir storage and clears out almost all of it. So, yeah. Uh, like we talked about in the last episode, remember Town Hall is going to hold some and the Clan Castle could hold some. 1335, not quite a record, but regular resources over 1.1 million. That was the biggest I had ever seen. And Peter, okay, it is time for the status report. Gosh darn it. Okay, we're going to talk again about the number of gems that we have saved up so far. So we picked up a couple of achievements. We're excited about that. Got a few more to go, but 795. So, not the worst. Uh, biggest Dark Elixir haul you saw it near the beginning of the episode. It was 1,540 Dark Elixir. And then our next goals. Hey, it's all about the Dark. It's all about maxing out the Barbarian King. That is what we're focused on. Going to get him there. Off to Town Hall 8 before you know it. You watch all the way to the end of the episode. That makes you the true hashtag Galifam. And I love, think about, and appreciate every last one of you. So get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to people, find out the animals. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. I predict you break down at Town Hall 9 and buy gyms.